What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to a bit of a different video. So this one's going to be out of the usual. I'm not going to do these videos very often, but because Cyberpunk is such a hot topic game and they're having a lot of optimization updates and little tips and tricks you can do to optimize the game yourself, I thought of doing a comparison between the 1.04 version and 1.05, which is the latest version. There was a whole bunch of AMT, SMT fixes, optimizing memory, this and that, and a couple of other things. And they said that they've done all of this in the latest patch note and more. If you'd like to see my previous optimization videos, they'll be linked down below. Though, of course, the AMD SMT fix and a couple of others won't work anymore, so those won't be linked in the description down below. Anyway, onto this one off video, at least for now. What exactly is the difference between version 1.04 and 1.05? Well, to find this out, I had two normal Steam copies of the game. One of them was 1.04 and one of them was the fully up-to-date 1.05. And I benchmarked it on both my desktop PC with an AMD 3900X, a 1080 Ti and 96 gigabytes of RAM. And I tested it on my laptop that has an i7 7700HQ, a GTX 1050 and 24 gigs of RAM, meaning that it has more than enough power to use. The only thing really bottlenecking these two PCs is the 10 series graphics cards especially on my laptop with a 1050. So of course, both of these tests will be more in the regards of having a GPU bottleneck system rather than anything else. So take these results with a grain of salt, unless you have a GPU bottleneck system as well, or you simply refunded the game and you'd like to see what kind of development is going on. Well, without delaying any further, on screen, you'll see a couple of benchmark graphs, as you can see. If I have a look at the 1.04 and 1.05 on my 1080 Ti desktop PC, there's not too much of a FPS difference between the two. There was maybe 0.4 FPS gained on the newer version. But of course, that's very much within margin of error. However, where this gets interesting is when we look at CPU and GPU usage. CPU usage and GPU maximum usage have both gone down. So what exactly was maxing out on my PC, stopping me getting any higher FPS? I'm not entirely sure, but neither my GPU nor CPU were maxing out, which is really interesting. And the fact that it's using less of both probably bodes well, meaning that they're doing some sort of good optimization for the game, even if it's not making too much of a big FPS impact. Something that I did notice between 1.04 and 1.05 is that it just feels at least a little bit smoother. Looking around, etc. on mouse and keyboard bounce a lot better than on 1.04, but of course, that may just be my PC. Then I benchmarked it on my laptop using the exact same driving route, though of course I wasn't able to record it as the 1050 was struggling enough as is to play the game on the absolute lowest settings. What happened to the FPS? Well, once again, basically no change. There was a 3% increase in FPS, but of course that's still plus minus within margin of error. There is a slight trend of higher FPS on this specific setup. The maximum FPS did drop a little bit. I'm not too sure if that's anything meaningful out of this. Really, to me, there's no real difference between 1.04 and 1.05 FPS. Then let's have a look at the CPU and GPU usage graph. Once again, there's a decrease in CPU usage. However, the GPU usage was pinned to 100% as that's what's bottlenecking this computer the most. So less CPU usage probably means that it's being used more efficiently if it's getting the same FPS, which is great news. Once again, I'm pretty sure it felt a lot smoother, but of course playing at 20 to 30 FPS, it wasn't exactly the greatest experience to base a smoothness test off of. So with that aside, obviously everyone has to update, but if you're curious how much their official changes actually made to the game, well, on my GPU bottleneck systems, not actually too much. This is basically just a quick update to my previous benchmarking videos for those of you who are curious to see exactly how the official implementation of all of the fixes that I showed and a couple of other fixes went. And as well, before I end the video, in the description down below, once again, is the complete Google Sheet link where you can see all of the results as is and the graphs on the far right hand side. If you're going to share it, there is a share link at the top over here and in the description down below, which is a lot friendlier than this huge link up here. If you'd like to see more Cyberpunk content, make sure to let me know in the comments down below, like this video. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. My name is Fintech Nobi here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.